Oh, this is my jam. Ooh, yeah, I could bop to this. Battle themes. Arguably the most important part of an RPG soundtrack. Over the course of a playthrough, you're bound to spend tens of hours listening to these tunes. A battle theme has to be catchy, insinuate anxiety and excitement, and just hype you up. Welcome back to Shinky Plays, and today I'm talking about 10 of my favorite battle themes from RPGs over the years. Before you get out your pitchforks and flamen worfers, this topic as a whole is subjective and just my personal top 10 list, which I won't lie, changes based on my mood. Also, I have no musical background whatsoever, so the criteria for this list is going to boil down to I like it. If your favorite song is not on the list, it doesn't mean I hate you, it just means we have something to talk about. In fact, send me your rage in the comments below and tell me what battle themes are your favorite. As a rule for this video, I am restricting the music to one song per franchise. If I didn't do that, the whole list would just be ease. So it's really for the variety of your listening pleasure. Anyways, grab a snack, strap yourselves in, and get ready to hear about the meat and potatoes of my top 10 favorite battle themes. For the first song on my list, Trainer Battle from Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, released in 2004. Composed by Junichi Masuda, this is honestly probably one of the first battle themes I remember hearing, so a lot of my enjoyment of it probably stems from nostalgia. That rolling intro always gets me into a jam for where I'm ready to wreck good old Joey's Rattata. The urgency it instills in you as well as the anticipation it builds while you wait for your opponent's attack hits just right. Overall, I'd rate this battle music 8 Pokeballs out of 10. If this is the first on the list, what else do I have in store for you? Well, only one way to find out. So I was initially going to try to imitate the beginning of this song, but there's no way I can do that. The second song on the list is Mass Destruction for Persona 3, released in 2006. Composed by Lotus Juice and Yuma Kawamura, one of the first, if not only, battle musics, with rap as its main grab. I personally am not a big fan of rap in the first place, but I enjoy this battle music. It seems to blend a jazz and rap style together that just sounds so good together. Overall, a 7 Persona summons out of 10, only losing points because it does have that rap aspect to it, but overall, it's fun to listen to and you can't help but tap your foot to it. For the third song on my list, we have End of a Thought from Tales of Symphonia, released in 2003. Composed by Matoi Sakuraba, which you will hear plenty more times on this list. Anyways. Spoiler warning. Seriously, it's a spoiler. Last chance. Okay, I warned you. End of the Thought plays in the 1v1 fight between Lloyd and Kratos in front of Origins Monument. This song is perfect with its meshing trumpets and drums to install the importance of the relationship between Lloyd and Kratos. One aspect of this song I really enjoyed is the fact that it manages to work in Kratos' theme into the battle music. It adds a sense of importance and emotion to the battle. The urgent high-speed tones to relaxing rhythms flow so seamlessly into one another. Overall, I love this song. You get 9 Eternal Swords out of 10. And for number 4 on my list, Blood on the Keys from Star Ocean 4, released in 2009. Honestly, I think this song is where I really started to fall in love with Matoi Sakuraba's compositions. This is probably one of the most upbeat battle themes on my list. It has wonderful guitar riffs and slows down just enough to let you recover from the hype you've endured, only to throw you right back into a tasty jam. The way it blends rock into a slow beat into guitar solos, it just sounds so good. Fun fact, Star Ocean 4 was the first game I played in HD which in turn makes this theme so memorable to me. I give it 8 blind sides out of 10. The 
The fifth battle theme on my list was a hard choice. Sunshine Coastline from Ease 8 released in 2016. This was incredibly difficult, only picking a single theme from the Ease series. Composed by Falcom Sound Team JDK, they have killed it when it comes to music in the Ease series. I had a list of about 15 different songs and narrowed it down to this one. Now, you could argue that this isn't really a battle theme, but you fight monsters, this theme plays, thus, battle theme. This theme encompasses the whole shipwrecked on an island feel, accompanied with a combat beat to it. Falcom Sound Team JDK is just great at giving that sense of emotion when you're listening to their songs. No matter the situation, they are always able to set the mood. Good job, Falcom Sound Team. You get 9 Danas out of 10. The sixth song might be cheating the one song per franchise rule. The Incarnation of Devil from Valkyrie Profile, released in 1999. Yet another song composed by Matoi Sakuraba. This song has been in almost every Star Ocean Valkyrie Profile game, which is why it may be cheating a little. The Incarnation of Devil usually plays when fighting super bosses, Gabriel Celeste or the Azalea Queen. I chose the Valkyrie Profile mix of the song because I love the trumpets that make up the background of the whole song. It really fits the whole gods and goddesses aspect of the game. For me at least, it's one of those songs that I can't help but bop to. The Incarnation of Devil gets 7 Lenneth Valkyries out of 10. Yo, we're already at number 7 on this list? When the Heart Ignites from Wild Arms 5 released in 2006. I love the Wild Arms series, so selecting a battle theme that stands out from that series was difficult. However, Wild Arms 5 has the best battle theme in the series in my opinion. I love how it pushes the western theme of the series along with the melodic whistle. It's a great song and almost makes you want to whistle along with it. It puts me in my happy place. I wouldn't mind being able to enjoy this game alongside 4 on PS4 or PS5. Sony, please? 8 cowboy hats out of 10. Huzzah! Exist Archive, The Other Side of the Sky, released in 2015, is taking spot 8 on our list of battle themes. Xenofactor, composed by... Oh look, more Matoi Sakuraba. The man is a genius, what can I say? Exist Archive was a disappointment to me. I was expecting a Valkyrie Profile successor, but what I got was lame. The music, however, is amazing and Xenofactor is no different. This is the standard battle music, it's a bop and a half. I don't have any reason why I enjoy it, I just enjoy how it flows and it slows at just the right times, keeping it enjoyable while not overstaying its welcome. Exist Archive. You would get a total fail if not for the music. Xeno Factor, you get 7 skies out of 10. Number 9, we're almost to the end. Bell of Battle from Bravely Default, released in 2012. Composed by Revo, or is it Revo? Not sure. But anyways, I adore the trumpets in this theme. It makes every battle feel so triumphant and legendary. Bell of Battle is so powerful, it just hits the ears so well, makes every battle fun to fight in. As I'm sitting here listening to the battle theme, it makes me want to play the game again. If only Square Enix would release a remaster of the game on Switch. Speaking of which, have you checked out my top 5 desired HD remasters? Because you totally should. Anyways, Trumpets! Bell of Battle, you get 9 crystals out of 10. And for the 10th and final battle team on this list, it's another one from Matoi Sakuraba. Anyways, Isaac's battle theme from Golden Sun, released in 2001. I actually haven't finished a Golden Sun game before, but I absolutely adore this battle theme. It goes back and forth from fast beats to slow and sensual, then to fast beats again. 
This is just one of those battle themes that makes you want to avoid running from any encounter solely because of how nice the combat sounds. It just amazes me how varied so many of Matoi Sakuraba themes are, and this is one of his best. I give it 10 Cybops out of 10. Well, that's it for my 10 favorite battle themes. It's amazing how a good battle team can affect your entire enjoyment of a game. Personally, I feel a good battle team turns a game from an enjoyable experience to an amazing experience. What do you think of my list? Is there anything I may have missed? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want more of this kind of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. That's the meat and potatoes, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.